Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Haley Deegan's Mobile One Napa Power Meridian Race Win from 2018. As always, take a quick look at the box. As you can see, it's got a completely special, unique box. Got a picture of Haley holding up the number one next to the Meridian Trophy. Got a picture of the car back there that I'm 99% sure isn't actually from this race. Because this track really doesn't have much banking, and that almost looks like Bristol, but I don't know. Got Haley Deegan, got her Twitter and Instagram handles, HaleyDeeganRacing.com. Picture of her celebrating in Victory Lane, Bill McAnally Racing, and 2018 K&N Pro Series race winner. Down the side, you have basically nothing. Surprised they didn't put a render or anything right there, but just have a Haley Deegan logo. They made a total of 1,453 of these things. Standard finish, Haley Deegan, 2018 race winner, Bill McAnally Racing. Got the same stuff that was on the top of the box, on the back of the box. 2018 Action Racing Collectibles, and you of course have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. One of the most highly anticipated diecast in a long time. We finally have a quality female driver. Especially in a time where the other current young female driver, Natalie Decker, is... Uh, I... Mm, anyways... <laughs> Why don't we take a look at this car, do a quick 360. This race ended really well for that team. They basically finished one, two, three, all with different Napa sponsored cars. One of them had the just kind of blue and yellow Napa car, one had a black and yellow Napa brake or filters car, and then Haley had this car. Like I said, Haley Deegan's up to what, three different K&N wins now, so she definitely seems to have talent. Hopefully she can continue that, and once she moves up to Truck or Xfinity, hopefully she can continue that. Especially when she's the complete opposite of Natalie Decker, who is one of the worst drivers right now. <laughs> Natalie Decker's Bristol escapades was enough to really just see how bad she is. <laughs> Anyways, this does come with a few things. You, of course, have your race winner stat card. If you want to read that. And this actually does come with the, you know, K&N winner sticker, which is honestly a lot fancier than just the kind of checkered flag we get in Cup, Xfinity, and Truck. Anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Mobile One and Napa Power Premium Plus. You see, the entire car is actually covered in little ghosted Toyota logos. Didn't know that was a thing until I got the diecast. Anyways, on the front, you got Toyota Camry, number 19, Bill McAnally Racing. Down the side, you got Napa Power Premium Plus. You've got logos that are mostly covered down here. Mobile One, 3M, Safety Clean, Napa. Looks like that sponsor that's uh, that used to be on the uh, Michael Waltrip Napa cars. Have to see if it's clear on the other side. Up here, you got Dorman, Curb Records, Mechanics Wear, E.L. Bach, Lincoln Welders, Racing Electronics, Napa Tools and Equipment, Napa Something Else, Felpro. Both of them are pretty much covered up by marks. On the C post, you got Toyota Racing Development. And on the B post, you got Toyota, Mobile One, Napa, MGK, and Bill McAnally Racing. Got the NASCAR Next sticker and the Race Winner sticker up there. Has your typical contingencies and such, which you know they have a ton more than Cup or anything else has right now. <laughs> on the back, you got NapaFilters.com, all about how you drive. Got your rookie stripes and number 19 and Bill McAnally Racing. Got a Monster Energy logo on the deck lid and Petro Chase on the roof. This is number 715. <laughs> Logos on this side are pretty much covered up too. <laughs> yep, it is that Martin Senor Paints. They used to be on Michael Waltrip's Napa car. I remember they were on his Daytona 500 win from 2001. See, the other logos are NTK and Chicago something. Other than that, got the same stuff down the other side. Let's take a look under the hood. It just says Toyota, let's go places. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. And this one actually does have an opening deck lid because for some reason they produced this on the full ARC mold from a few years ago. Not even a gold series or anything. I guess they just knew that they could milk out this mold because they knew that this would meet MOQ easily. I don't know. Roof flaps, of course, still do open. And you, of course, have the underside that is still the full metal chassis. Pretty much everything from this mold from like 2014, I guess this mold is from. <laughs> but anyways, let's get down to the part that people are waiting for, and that is the damage. This is a nice beaten and banging short track car, so it's got a lot of marks all over it. You see the front bumper is marked up. 
has some blue from, I'm guessing, one of the other Napa cars. Because I do remember, like, going into, like, the final, or, like, the first turn on the final lap, she did shove one of her teammates out of the way in one of the other Napa cars. Well, she also kind of screwed up the corner a little bit just because it was, like, there was some, like, wrecked car just sitting, like, right on the grass, right kind of where the rumble strip is. So I think he just kind of went wide, and then Haley Deegan took the opportunity. You see the front fender is also kind of marked up. There's a big mark through the Edelbrock logo. I'm sure that was crumpled in a little bit on the real car. Got a little tire donut down there. Some stuff around the jack stand. Like I said, got some big marks around the left rear tire. And the lettering is completely rubbed off of the tire. Big mark through mobile back there. You see the back bumper is pretty beat up. You can just tell by those rookie stripes that this back bumper on the real thing was really just dented in and all creased up. That looks pretty cool. You see the right rear is also, the lettering is pretty much completely rubbed off beyond one little spot and has a ton of marks and dirt. So that she definitely need a share fair beat and bang into this short track. You see there's a bunch of marks even over the kind of exhaust port. Pretty clean through these contingencies and then you have more marks. I'm sure that mark is entirely where she hit that Napa car in the final turn. <laughs> definitely a cool race to win. Said so if you're into small damage and all that stuff like you know, this is just the perfect, like, short track car. Like, there's no huge damage, but it's got marks, tire marks, rubber marks, got some dents and dings all over the car. Pretty cool. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now, but this thing is disappearing quickly. Like, this thing is flying off the shelves, so if you didn't get it by now, it's probably too late. I don't know. This one's so strange that they made an Authentics of it, and it's an exclusive to 164 scale Authentics. And Lionel literally kept it behind the counter just so people couldn't buy, like, all 20 of them. <laughs> they literally had to, you know, save it so people just, you know, to scalp or whatever. But, <laughs> so this car is definitely one of the most popular cars in a long time, and that's not going to change anytime soon. I'm sure her other race twins will be just the same way. Probably not as rare, but they're definitely going to get rare, too. But I think that's really all there's to say. This has been a review of Haley Deegan's Mobile One Napa Power Meridian Race Win from 2018. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.